Well, good morning. So leaving the town of Castro here, uh, we heading uh, west. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't recall the, the town's name. It's about a 30 uh, kilometer walk. It's a cold day. Uh, it, it's uh, partly cloudy, it rained like all last, last night. So if there's mud or, or if there's dirt on the trail, it will be muddy. Um, not much else going on. Um, in case you're wondering where Paul went, Paul uh, chose to uh, hang back at Burgos. So he's still on the trail uh, with some other folks. So um, he'll try to catch up. Uh, but I don't think we're going to stop until we get to Santiago. So that's 14 days. 14 day count now. It's been a long and rugged journey. <laughs> <laughs> but getting down there. So let's go check out uh, the trail west of Castro Jerez. So I think that road that you see way off there in the distance goes up the hill, that's the way. Not the big uh, mass exodus, so what is it, one, two, five people and me. Coming up on some more pilgrims. So looking back to Castro Jerez. Beautiful day. Coming to the top of this long climb. It is a great view. So now we go back down. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah. You can see the pilgrims way out there. This is the morning bubble. All just fields of wheat. You can see the little kernels there. A nice place to take a break. I bet when the trees are all bloomed out, it's beautiful. And there's a little water, I presume, somewhere. I don't see the water. It was there. It's plugged up. Now it's gone. I think we're coming upon a gaggle. Of pilgrims. So coming up on an albergue. I believe this is what they call a donativo, which means uh, you donate money, there's no set amount. Hospital San Nicolas. Bridge. Uh, Nigel's book says it's from the 11th century. Pretty cool. Well, apparently you can still drive across it. Another huge sign in case you didn't bring a map.
perfect little tree farm. The tiny town of Itero de la Vega. And there's a happy pilgrim. It's teeny tiny, but they have a very nice uh, picnic area. It's funny, it's a taxi waiting. <laughs> Anybody want to ride? Another stork nest. So we didn't stop at that coffee shop because there was like a line of six people. So it looks like there's a second coffee shop here in town. There's a general rule that says never stop at the first um, albergue or the first coffee shop because they're always just jammed full of people. Go to the last one. This is the town square. Looks good. So we're heading out, not great coffee. The next uh, town is about 8K, so that will for sure have better coffee and maybe a tortilla. Town, small town, probably not much here. Lots of storks. Oh yeah, that's where you stayed? That's where I stayed last time. The door was the wood from shore. Pilgrims lining up. So all the people are lining up, it's 12.30, lining up to stay here. So look at this wall, so, so it's just basically mud and straw. Well, it's a typical uh, post-noon Camino. Um, everybody usually just uh, finds a place to stay at noon and leaves the uh, Camino uh, empty. It's very strange. So now walking along a canal for a while before we go into Frolista. So walking into Frolista, this is uh, one of the canal locks. Very cool. Canal de Castilla. Beautiful little picnic spot. Cute little stork right, right there. Yeah, you know it's cold. Check out this place for lunch. We see hikers, so <laughs> I don't know what is going on, but this lady won't let somebody out of the door that keeps pulling on it. And now cops have come. <laughs> I have no idea. People are just all basic. Look at this. It's like 
Let me out! Let me out! Let Help me! me. Keep I, her I, inside! It's a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> and, then, and then the cops show up and he's like, what are you talking about? Only in Spain. Only in Spain. Life on the trail. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Holy cow. What? <laughs> no, the cops told him the door. <laughs> I have no idea. I think, I think the woman is a little simple. Yes. Yeah. I, 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 the lady inside appeared to be kind of confused, maybe demented. Come on, get your gun out. Get your gun out. Come on, in Spain. Come on, get your gun out. He's got a gun too. Yeah, they all have guns. At least have guns. Okay, so I, I think we better get going because it's going to rain. I don't know. I don't know where it's going to going to end. We 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 got to go. <laughs> now we call for backup. Me? I don't know what. And let's what explain what's do. going no, on with this lady, a, this poor yeah. lady. Man. Uh, Italia, old I don't know yeah, what she did. Know. That was so uh, wow. terrible. My God, I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep. <laughs> talk, talk to yeah. her. Up of me. Yes. And uh, Italia guy. In so leaving the beer fest. It's only 3.7 to our um, place for the night. And again, the, the, this is Uva from Germany. These poppies, poppies. Wow. It's really a special time to come through this place because I'm sure if you come through in August, it's all just uh, brown. From Mistra. Well, we may have sat at the bar a bit too long because now it's starting to rain. So we're coming into the town of Problacion de Campos, where we will camp for the night. And boy, I'm I'm kind of kind of starving. I had breakfast and like a little hot dog. So this is tonight's room. Very nice. Shower, sink, you know, a couple beds. Chairs, sweet. The tiniest balcony you can ever imagine. And it's raining, of course. Uh, okay. Often, very often, Camino comes into it like there are stories about people going